In this video, I am going to make no attempt whatsoever to try and explain sampling variability. I'm just showing you the calculation. So I'm just going to give you, as a given, this formula here of standard error. Now n is going to be the number of people in the sample, so sample size. And P is the proportion. Okay, so if we said what proportion of people like cheese, let's imagine that that was 50% liked cheese, and let's imagine that we had a sample of 100 people. So N would be 100, and P would equal 0 0.5. Now, what does this formula mean? Let's just see what it does. Okay, I'm going to go into stats. I'm going to go into distribution, and I'm going to go into normal distribution. I'm going to go into inverse normal. And here it would be very nice to have the uh, tail in the center. Okay, now the area I'm going to say is going to be, just let's make something up, 95%. Oh, sorry, 0.95. Let's get this right. So... We're going to go 0.95, so that's 95%. Standard deviation is 1, and the mean is 0. So if I do that, I get 1.96. Now, a 95% confidence interval, or 95% margin of error, is 1.96 times the square root of P, 1 minus p all over n. So we're just using the standard error, but we're timesing it by the z score. Okay, so the z score is the 1.96. So that's where that number comes from. Now I'm going to try a 0.99, and here we get 2.56. So that number here should change to 2.56. Alrighty, we've got our 50%, okay? So we're going to plug that into here. So we're going to have 1.96 times the square root. We're going to have 0 0.5 times 1 minus 0 0.5. And then we're going to divide by 100. Okay, that's all inside the brackets. So the key to do that on your calculator, and this is where a lot of people get confused, is with the brackets. So we go 1.96 times. Um, you can do square root sign. I find it easier to just go bracket. I'm going to do an extra set of brackets there. 0 0.5 times 1 minus 0 0.5 divided by 100. Close the bracket. Oh, I could have put another bracket there. Oh, never mind, too many brackets. Let's give up. We won't give up. I'll just fix it that way and go to the power of 0.5. Okay, so we get 9.8% is our margin of error. So I can times by 100 and I get 9.8%. I'm going to do that again with a bit less brackets. 1.96 times, and I'm going to go shift square root and 0 0.5 times 1 minus 0 0.5 and divided by 100, close bracket. So I've got the exact same answer. Okay, that's cool. That's our margin of error, 9.8%. Now, I want to just quickly show you the rule of thumb. So the rule of thumb is where instead of using 1.96, we round that to 2. So we say that's approximately equal to 2 times. Now if I go 0 0.5 times 0 0.5 and take the square root of it, that's actually 0 0.5. And then we are dividing by our square root of n, or the square root of 100. So that is going to be the same as... 1 over the square root of 100. 
Another way of looking at that is 1 over the square root of n is almost the same when the proportion is 0 0.5. Clear as mud, huh? Not a good video. Sorry, guys.